Hello and welcome back to Iratus. We're heading into the dungeon just to take out... Uh, I don't know, a stone golem, a... Uh, whatever that is. Barbarian, spell thief, and a conjurer. Uh, a pretty solid team. And possibly the boss. So let's get going. And I'm not sure if this uh, team one can handle everything. Uh, it's gonna be a tough fight for sure. Team one, you guys good? <laughs> okay. So the Barbarian is super tanky, and the Conjurus is very tanky against uh, magic. I think we might just go for... Oh my god, I forgot! I forgot to use a one-time tank again. Uh, I think the we're just gonna wait. Do I want to skull fall here? I don't know. I, I don't. Not like this. I'm just gonna save. Okay. It's a little annoying that you can't save in this game. We can do a Sundering Rat. On the Barbarian. Making her lose all her armor. I need to trigger the magic armor. Of the gargoyle, maybe. We can also hit the barbarian. They are all super scary. Have a warm end, my friend well the barbarian will die as long as uh, we can remove their armor skipping the turn I like that that's her ability just make them skip the turn all the fucking time uh I don't know if I want to do a skull fall. I, I kind of need some mana for the boss fights, but also... Yeah, that's not good right now. Maybe we just wait and we can do this later. Okay, the Barbarian is already on fire. Try to take it out. Let's go for a stun again. A little annoying, but not a big deal. A massive deal. Come on, the trap needs to trigger. <laughs> it's gonna trigger at the start of the Headhunter's turn, I believe. Okay. I don't think that I can set the gargoyle on fire. This is 50. You know what? Let's not do that. Maybe I can assassinate somebody. No, we gotta keep stunning. That hurts a lot. What the fuck is that damage? Headhunter, will you ever come? Okay, she lost her armor now. We can hit everybody. Loses all armor, loses all resistance. It will not die. Impale this wretch. Let's do a crescendo. Ah! We 
can hit the gargoyle. <sighs> the conjurist needs to die. This is a magic attack. Can use it on the conjurus. Please don't die. Take more than death to stop my the conjurus <laughs> deals stupid amounts of damage. So we can do an abyssal bounty on the conjurus. This one insta kill its bowels just as it died. Well, if I could gain some rats, I think we can kill the gargoyle. Maybe we can deal 30 physical damage. Let at least kill the gargoyle. That very much lowers the chance no There's no sun up in the sky. that I'll no die. Okay, let's do a no. Sure. A very delayed attack, or with sundering rats. Or just... But that's a very delayed, but also very strong attack. Well, I can lower his... Uh, I can't do no anymore. I can lower his damage. But it won't be enough. He's buffed. I don't know what to do. Sure. Break down bones. Get hit by the trap. Yeah, we gotta kill him now. They all have the same chance to hit. Thing is, if I go for this, he might survive. Let's do a spell. He can evade. And if he evades, he might kill me. We got a level 5 brain. Uh, that's actually very nice. So we got back from the... The Bride of Iratus. Tough fight. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> Blind Fury. Oh yeah, I kind of like the love my hands bloody. I kind of want to pick that up. And uh, just take these guys out. Yeah, I mean, sure. These are going to take a time out. We need the Dark Knight to be ready. We might use this Bounty Hunter. We have a brain that we can use for somebody. The next next uh, step is uh, a big boss fight. And I, I should really fucking use all these one-time use thingies that I get. I don't know what we're gonna need. I'm not familiar with that boss fight. We might use the mana crystal. Just so we can start with a big uh, explosion. Mortals tremble before me. Well, even more than previously. Yeah, I need more guys. So she is ready. That's what she was waiting for to become a level six. Not because level six is that amazing. So we can interrupt stances now if you want that. With a little bit higher evasion, or just get a little bit, uh, yeah, a little bit more, whatever, that's, that's fine. Accuracy is fine, that's fine too, I, I, I do like the utility the of interrupting stances. So that means, uh, 
What else? What other stuff we can take? Should it be the zombie? What do I have? So I have access to this uh, Banshee. If I take it on the mission, she almost guaranteed to die. What about this Dark Knight? If he waited two turns, he can become a, a level six. I mean, that might be a decent team. I. This is not the best team I have. I lost the best team I had against the Dampier. And we might lose the game because of that. I need some vampires as well. Because we can see uh, the in the creation menu. I need to trigger insanity 80 times to get access to a shade. Turn free enemies into vampires. It happened on one. Use the Rat on, on uh, ultimate abilities. That's getting close. Blood Phantasm. Bone Golem. This is just about finding bones. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm finding some of them. Uh, lure free Dampiers over to your side. I don't know how you fucking do that. Deal damage to my old minions? How? I mean, I can do it with like a... Uh, Complete the game with more pain or higher, I'm frozen. Sure. Sure, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I got a level 5 brain. But we can just uh, wait with it and just put it into a body that we actually will need. There's not much I can do. Like, this, this is like a full crew compliment here. Of course, having uh, access to vampires would be amazing. I would love that. But we don't have that at all. Uh, one thing I shouldn't forget is a one-time use thing and we got the mana crystal. I think that's the best I can do. Boss fight, here we come. Having a reputation for being dangerous and unstable, fire mages are usually kept far away from civilization lest you be faced with one or two city-wide firestorms. The pyromancer was responsible for one such fire before she was handed over to the mage school as a young girl. Even there she proved to be more than a handful and earned an enmity of all of her teachers. She has since finished mastering her powers while working as a mercenary in a company that was brave enough to let her tag along. The pyromancer doesn't hold back, and everyone knows it. Things must be getting desperate if this fire-eyed spellcaster was hired to join the fight. Yeah, I don't know, I'm not exactly fire immune myself. They don't have any blocks. Self-destruct. When the enemy, when the summoning duration ends, the fire elemental explodes and deals 120% pure damage. So if I don't kill the fire elemental, it's basically going to one-shot one of my minions. Sounds great. The pyromancer has a lot of magic armor. We know that. Is she immune? Friend. Oh! It's gonna... They're gonna expire in two turns. I'm so dead. <laughs> I'm so fucking dead. i just take, take them all out if possible. I don't know if stunning is what I want. I can stun, but I, I need to kill them. <laughs> Let's do a uh, bloody rose. I hope there will still be enough left to reanimate. That kind of sucks. <laughs> Wait, they don't take any... 
damage over time from the skull fall. I can gain some mana. <sighs> what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Uh, she could really use her uh, lose her magic armor. That would be nice. Uh, what do you say about that, uh, bounty hunter mate? Skullfall? I don't fucking know. I don't know what to do. Volley of spears. If it's if she's debuffed, she's debuffed, so we can hit her for seventy five apparently. Making a mass grave. It doesn't work on bosses, the bounty. Well, actually, this bounty hunter doesn't have the special bounty. I just hit everybody. Oh, that's it? So you're not gonna summon more minions? Does it work on bosses? I don't think so. Oh, she just moved away now. We can make everybody... Game some dreads. I don't know. Can make her deal less damage. Yeah, I mean she's not for a boss fight. I mean Gvail could be the only one for for a, possibly a boss fight. There's no such thing as flames of passion and love here. Yeah, she needs to lose her magic armor. Oh, just one, one at a time? That's not too annoying. So we can attack both of them. She could really use, lose her resistance. I mean, that would be huge. That traps a position, not, not a target. And he moves back. She needs to lose her magic armor. So this will just self-destruct. Banshee, you're so bad. Okay. Kind of what I expected. So... I can stun, but... I don't think that would work here. The Owls of Teeth. This seems like a tough fight. She can use a debuff. I, I want to use my... This okay, fine. My rage for something else. We can do a crescendo, maybe. <laughs> so that's a debuff. No. No bloody rose. We're getting closer to self-destruct. But only on the first one. Let's hit the first one. Okay, that's perfect. So, finally she lost her armor. We can hit everything. Oh, uh, that, that will not work. Let's, let's hit like that. Wh what is that? Okay. That fire elemental needs to die. Right now. Although... No, no, we, I think we are fine. 15 rigor. We can attack her with the volley of spears. Making a mass grave. Uh, this will die to the Bride of Iratus's uh, AOE. And I can just maybe not hit her. Let's just be reasonable here. Let's hit the <gasps> elemental. 
I kind of would like an abundant harvest, but let's just do dual cruelty. Yeah, that's, that will not work. I just scream at them. <laughs> Come on, you got this. Right? Carve open their husks. Uh, she's getting close to death. Uh, she's dead now. Oh my god, the bounty hunter is almost dead. Actually, he's going to be dead next turn, right? No, not next turn, but the turn after that. Actually, he might he might live. Not guaranteed to die. Volley of Spears. Can I just rush a kill on the Necroma Pyromancer? I don't think so. She still has a lot of HP. I can do dual cruelty. She's decent. But I think I need to slide back. What if I go for a stun? Is it possible? I mean first down, of course. That's great. Remove the fences. She's so damn close to dying. But actually, at this point, I lost all my damage dealers. What happened to her? Self-destruct in two turns. Let's gain mana. Any any minion that deals damage to the pyromancer receives a uh, yeah. That but that's minion only. I want to do a volley of spears on her. I don't know if this guy can survive the fire elemental is exploding, if that actually will happen at the end. Because we're gonna go to 28 mana, no no no, we, I don't think we can do that. I can actually do one flaming skull on her. Have a warm end, my friend. I don't know what to do. I mean, that that is just not exactly great. Sharing how. <laughs> oh. Well, that counts as an attack and she died. Okay. Still debuffed. Oh my fucking god. Eternally debuffed. But I don't have the mana. I don't have the mana to do anything. It's game over. I think I should run away. Because these are gonna explode. One by one, life vanishes from this world. No, get mana! You're so damn close. You just need to get mana, man. She's eternally debuffed. Great. Easy fight. Oh, level seven brain. Uh, that's that's from me, right? <laughs> okay, we got it. Easy peasy. Making a mass grave. So let's go into the graveyard. Unfortunate uh, casualties. What we got here? 
So we got some level 5s now. Oh, this guy needs to chill in here for one more round. The zombie goes up. Okay, we got the ultimate. That's crappy. Stress attack? We can make a stress zombie. Deals crappy stress damage, but the target loses luck, accuracy and evasion for two turns. Stress zombie. And also gains even more stress damage. You can make a full on stress zombie with smoke bomb and uh, hex ball. Or just say screw that. And go for... <laughs> That's... I guess the advantage of this is that it becomes more... No, it's basically useless. <laughs> I mean, look at that. It deals 44 damage. And uh, this actually deals kind of the same or even more than that. More than that. It's just a very reliable way to deal like a instant damage. I don't know. I, I, I guess. I guess we're gonna pick I that up. What about the rate? All opponents random misfile position. Very, very situational. All opponents random misfile positions and gain 15% chance to escape for two turns. So, with this, you actually want your opponents to escape big time. Okay. All opponents random misfile positions and gain minus 20 evasion for two turns. No, no, no. Let's make them run away. Uh, but that gives me luck. Still, I mean. We might do this. So let's stress everybody out and make them run away. But in order to use this guy, he needs to be not there. Zombie. Headhunter. But if the headhunter is going forward, then it's gonna mess up his ghostly fire. It's not the best. I can give someone a brain. Necrotic vent. I mean, that's still decent, I guess, but the problem is I'm not really doing uh, stress damage at this point. That's the biggest problem. So it would be a little bit wasted. I'm just going to creation. We can create a... Let's not create anything, because what the game says right now, we can go to the dungeon, is that... Available after release, so This is apparently uh, a work in progress game and let's see what happens if you go go on choose battle squad uh, battle squad one What happens if you go to the next area is it gonna be like game over? We did it boys I didn't have a fucking vampire Very short. <laughs> it's done. I'm frozen. Pretty cool game, but of course it would be nice to play it when it actually comes out. And I'm kind of interested in like trying out the stress path. Okay. Let's just end it. The pyromancer has fallen. Another annoying uh, light snuffed in your wake. Now the path to the surface is open and ultimate victory is almost within your grasp. Your strategy and tactics have overcome the odds, letting you reach the current end of the game. We hope you enjoyed this experience and will join us for the full release, Team Unfrozen. Yeah, it was cool. Apparently they have a lot more planned. At least when you look into the... Humanarium. <laughs> wow. When you, when you finish the game, it's just, it just, it's just game over, man. You, you even lose your save. <laughs> I, I, I personally wouldn't mind just opening my save like, you know, let's just see what, what I was up to at the last possible second. And no, you can't do that. It's game over, man. Well, that's it. That's it for now, guys, about Iratus. Uh, when it releases, yeah, I'll, I'll probably come back and just see what's up. So, yeah. Thanks for watching guys and uh, see you next time.